go to the basic server script to create the function of joining the player to the game room. Before proceeding we must create an additional class called Client. This class will help us to save information such as ID, name, position, rotation, IP address, etc. of the players on the server. And to store all the clients of the game, we will create a dictionary type list called Connected Clients. Where we will have as key the player's ID and as value a client object containing the player's attributes. Return to the onReceiveJoin method and create a new client object. Fill in the client ID field with the player's ID provided by the data package. Fill in the remote IP field of client, with the player's IP address provided by data.anyip. Note that all information sent by the client is stored in the date vector pack. Finally we add the new client to the list of connected clients. Now we will send a response to the client, so that a new player can be spawned in the game arena. Create a new method called emit response, with the client and player IP parameters. Create a new dictionary type variable called sendPack. In sendPack create a new field and assign the joint success identifier as value. 
create another field called message and assign as value the ID of the new player. Now we will concatenate the information to be converted into bytes and then sent to the client. Now we must send all the old players in the room to the new player. For this we will create a method called emit players to player. This way all players will be spawned for the new player. We repeat the same procedures as we did previously creating a dictionary type variable and storing the information so that it can be converted into bytes and sent to the desired client. To send all clients to the new player, we will go through the entire list of connected clients and send each client to the new player one by one. We do a small check to avoid sending the client to himself. This way we avoid duplicates in the player's spawn. Create a new callback identifier called spawn player to be used on the client. Store ID of the current player in the MSG field. Finally we use the emit to client method to send the current player's information to the new client. Finally, we need to send the new player to the old players who are already in the game. For this we will create a new method called emit player in broadcast.
Thank you.